We, the people of Wu, emerged victorious at the decisive battle at Heifei. The hero of chaos, Cao Cao, along with the army that he built to realize his ambitions, have disappeared for good. Finally, we have come to the final battle for the land against Shu. Even though the enemy is certain to be planning strategies against us, there is no way that they can stop us now. If we can win this battle, the chaos that has long plagued the land shall come to an end. For the sake of those people that shall follow us, we must not lose this battle. We now stand before our last enemy, the Kingdom of Shu. They are commanded by Liu Chan, and the battlefield is by Di Castle. We must spare no expense to make this siege a success. Lu Xun, you and I will stay in the center and maintain a strong defense. A solid core is absolutely essential to support the wide attack formation we will need. Let us march. The land shall soon be ours. By the end of this day, we will be drinking wine and laughing among the ruined remains of the Shu Kingdom. Get out of my way. Now the three kingdoms divided by Zhuge Liang shall be as one! Let's go! This has long been the dream of my family. Today it shall be realized! Charge! This whole land will soon be ours! This is our country, and we'll defend it ourselves. We surround Bai Di Castle. The main army shall protect the center. Wong Gai will begin encirclement from the left flank, while Zhou Tai secures the space for our reinforcements on the right. Here I go! Uh. Obviously know nothing of that one. Such good fortune. Enemy officer defeated! So, who would attack even the innocent?
starting to heat up. It's about time. Is this the end? Here I go. Enemy officer defeated. Trying to take the base! Stop them! Here I go! If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. Do you think you can stop me? Blade will make you pay for your injustice. Damn! It's over already. Enemy officer defeated! My spear will run right through to your soul! Jotai, leave this to us and return to our master! You fulfilled your duty! Go and treat your wounds! Thank you! We have fallen right into the enemy's hands. I'll cut you with the sharp edge of justice. Heat up! It's up! 
about time! Justice never fails! Haven't you heard? Justice is long dead! Joker, leave us to us and return to our mess. You fulfilled your duty. Go. go and treat your wounds. Thank you. Half with the sharp edge of justice. Justice never fails! Haven't you heard? Justice is long dead! Jotai! Thank you! It seems you're always coming to my rescue. No. I fight for the sake of Wu. Right. Everyone, follow Jotai! This battle's starting to heat up! It's about time! over already. Enemy officer defeated! This road is for dead men only. None alive shall pass. What's wrong? Are you afraid to fix
Master, the time has come. Order the army to march. Unfulfilled. Enemy officers defeated! Left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! Your strength is quite impressive! With the Prime Minister gone, it's up to me to guard this castle. You? Ah, you must be Zhang Wei. So, you're the future of Shu, are you? Ha! This will be easier than I thought! Wu has begun to move just as you predicted. <laughs> Coming here all by yourself? Ah. So much left for me to accomplish. My ambitions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated! <laughs> We captured Bai Di Castle, and killed Liu Chan as well, bringing an end to Shu and his dreams of a land of virtue. Perhaps it was too great of an ideal to be realized. What the people want is to live a life of peace, and the Kingdom of Wu shall be able to give that life to them. We must work hard to create a land that would not be ridiculed by Cao Cao or Liu Bei. A new this bodyguard. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Lu Xun from the Wu territory, born to a powerful family, he came to serve Wu and slowly proved himself by participating in many battles.
It was Lu Meng who first noticed Lu Xun's potential and took him to Jing, only to discover the mighty Guan Yu awaiting them there. When Guan Yu attacked Cao Ren at Fan Castle in 209 AD, Lu Xun asked Lu Meng for permission to lead the attack. Lu Xun's strategy proved effective as he defeated Guan Yu. As a result, Sun Quan's trust in Lu Xun rose and he promoted him following Lu Meng's death. Liu Bei came seeking vengeance for his lost brother and together with Zhuge Liang engaged Lu Xun at Yiling. Lu Xun claimed victory over the two, and the course of history took a surprising turn. Lu Xun decided to put an end to the chaos and mobilized his armies. He set out and defeated the huge armies of Wei and took control of Baidi Castle where he forced the heroes of Shu to surrender. The lands came under the control of Wu, and the people could finally live in peace. Lu Xun continued to assist Sun Quan, serving him to maintain order, and was forever respected by the people. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. This land, it is forever changing. One day it will be gone, but that day is not today. With Cao Cao gone, and the three kingdoms united under the banner of Wu, our kingdom shall prevail! <laughs>